Just some retro gamer. Merry Christmas, fellow retro gamers. It's your boy, Just Some Retro Gamer here, and today I'd like to talk about a Christmas-themed game called Days Before Christmas. Ha! Huh. Oh, come on, you know you love a good pun. Or a bad pun. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. Yes, today we'll be talking about Days Before Christmas for the Sega Mega Drive. And why do I say Sega Mega Drive? Well, because this game never came out over here in the States. As far as why it wasn't released over here, well, I've heard everything from Sunsoft's USA factories closing down to just general quality controls. But that does beg the question, is this a good game by any stretch of the imagination? <laughs> well, put on your jingle bells and join me as we slay this game. <laughs> you take on the role of jolly old Saint Nick himself in your quest to save Christmas from an evil mouse named Laos, who also joined up with an evil snowman, a demented clock called Timekeeper, and the evil Mr. Weather. <laughs> well, honestly, I guess the weather would really be a big issue for Santa now, wouldn't it? But of course, that's not all Santa has to worry about this season, as these nefarious ne'er-do-wells have also stolen all of the Christmas presents as well. But luckily, being the jolly fat elf that you are, you have the power of Christmas magic to turn enemies back into toys for the good children of the world. Definitely not too shabby. But beware, as Louse the Mouse has also poisoned Santa Claus's tea. Every time he takes a sip, he turns into the Anti-Claus. Basically an evil Santa Claus who goes around and breaks Christmas presents and sacks all the enemies in his path. There are some enemies that can only be defeated by the Anti-Claus, and by doing this, you can open up new paths. So that's still not too shabby. You're gonna wanna find as many presents as possible because after every few stages, you need to deliver said presents, of course. It is still Christmas after all. In these stages, you basically fly high and drop presents down chimneys, you know, like a Santa do. Definitely not too shabby. Personally, I actually kind of welcome the change of gameplay. It just kind of gives the game a bit more variety. But at its heart, it's still primarily a platformer. And, as far as the controls go, the game itself does control very well. I mean, yeah, you're a jolly fat elf who's rather nimble. You can throw magic, you can run and jump, and you can do this with your hat. Haha, <laughs> neat. Overall, there are 24 stages for Santa to get through. You know, 24 days before Christmas. Haha, <laughs> see what they did there? But luckily, there is a password system, so you can always come back to it at a later time. If you've ever played the game Cool Spot on the Sega Genesis, this game actually kind of reminds me a lot of that, which is a game I really do enjoy. And I really enjoy this too, <laughs> for the same reasons, actually. It just feels right, you know? The game got a lot of flack for being way too easy, or too kid-like, or too kid-friendly, but personally, I think the game still holds up and is actually pretty fun. It's at least the best Santa Claus-based platformer I've ever played, and uh, that list is pretty small, pretty much consisting of this one title now that I think about it. So yeah, there's that. Plus, the game itself looks pretty darn good for the time period as well. A lot of the graphics are pre-rendered, but you know what? In my opinion, I think it works really well here. I like the little pre-rendered start screens. I like the way Santa Claus has been modeled. I like the way the animation is and it definitely carries a bit of that Christmas spirit, which is also a plus for this time of year. And the music is what you'd expect. Pretty much various remixes and renditions of classic Christmas music. It is a bit of a shame that this game didn't come out in the States, nor did its Super Nintendo counterpart, but you know what? I'm glad I still got to play it. It's not the best game in the world, and it is very easy. A lot of the boss fights can be cheesed, but you know what? I still had a pretty good time. Definitely not too shabby. And I'd recommend giving this game a shot any way you can. Anyway, that's all for this week's Retro Game Retrospective. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy New Year, and whatever else you celebrate. Definitely not too shabby. I'm just some retro gamer. Keep on gaming. Till next time!